Hello Corkies, welcome back. We already did the classic White Russian from the movie The Big Lebowski. Now we're coming up with this rendition called the Caramel Butterscotch White Russian. So stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome back to CorkinJava.com. I'm Billy, and we all know you're supposed to get joy and fascination from even the little things in life that most people take for granted, just like your food and beverages. So here at Cork and Java, we're here to expand and enrich your experience with all of your favorite beverages through wine and coffee and other beverage reviews and how-tos. So if that sounds interesting and you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button down below and that little bell so you're notified when all of our future videos come out. All right, let's get right down to it. Today we are making a white Russian, but not any old white Russian. We're doing a caramel butterscotch white Russian. It's gonna be very delicious. And how we get started is you get your glass and your caramel sauce. Now, whatever kind of caramel sauce you got should work fine. You just really wanna just drizzle the inside of the glass. This is mostly for presentation, but it also adds a little bit of delicious sweetness to, to the drink as well. Now this stuff's been in our fridge, so it's a little bit thick, but that's perfectly okay. I just drizzle it around. If you wanna coat the rim, you can do that as well, and maybe even add some crushed up uh, butterscotch to the rim as well, kinda like you would for salt on a margarita. All right, now that we got our caramel drizzled, We'll put that aside there and add our giant ball of ice to the glass. Now this ball of ice will keep the, uh, the drink from getting too watered down. If you use crushed ice or regular ice cubes, it's gonna, it's gonna get watery fast, especially if you wanna sip this for a while. So we have these, uh, these awesome ice sphere kits that uh, we bought on Amazon. I'll link below so you can pick these up if you're interested. And uh, so yeah, now let's get down to the, the actual drink. So here's our shaker here full of ice. We're gonna do an ounce and a half of our vodka here. You can use any type of vodka you want. Ounce and a half of that. Ounce and a half of butterscotch schnapps. That's where our butterscotch has come from. You can use any coffee liqueur you want. Um, but me, I like the cold brew Irish whiskey from Jameson. It is not technically a coffee liqueur, but it's similar and it's a good substitute for it. And I think it's, it's delicious. But if you don't have the Jameson um, cold brew, you can go with any Kahlua or homemade coffee liqueur. I'll uh, definitely check out our channel because we, we came up with a really good homemade coffee liqueur that blows Kahlua out of the water. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to check that out. So an ounce and a half of your coffee liqueur or Jameson Irish cold brew. Now you're gonna go about two and a half ounces, actually about three ounces here of your um, milk. We're going with whole milk. You can use skim, you can use half and half, you can use 2%, whatever you want. Give it a shake. Pour it right over top. Caramel butterscotch white Russian. Let's do this. Mmm, so delicious. Perfect sweetness and creaminess. Perfect amount of caramel and butterscotch is not too overpowering. Um, if you went with a traditional coffee liqueur, it'd be a little bit sweeter, uh, but I like it just the way it is here. Kind of like a caramel um, cappuccino almost. All right, guys, if you think this looks good and you're planning to try it, please give us a thumbs up. It just helps the YouTube algorithm put our face in front of more people. And also check us out online. We're on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. We're looking forward to seeing you in all those awesome places. So until next time, bottoms up.